um, <clears throat> um, hi everyone, good afternoon. Uh, I'm here, um, it's a pleasure for me to be here to talk about my research on PD. Um, first, I would like to introduce myself. Um, I'm a new scientist here. Um, I, had, um, I graduated from Fudan University, um, Shanghai, China. And uh, then I moved uh, with a major on genetics. Then I moved to Cornell Medical School and the Montana School of Medicine, um, focused on PDL studies. I've been working on mouse genetics for um, many years, and uh, um, I have created like the first PD mouse genetic models um, based on the <coughs> large mutation that Jeremy introduced. Uh, and this model has successfully mimicked some of the key features of the PD symptoms. And this work has been published <coughs> in Nature Neuroscience, and uh, this model has, is what we are working on. Uh, to find the cure for PD. The goal of my research, um, first uh, we would like to determine the cause of lung two toxicity. Here we refer to like PD symptoms. And the second one is uh, we identify the ways to slow down or stop the progression of the PD symptom. And the final goal um, is going to translate the lack animal treatment to the human clinical trial. So um, here I would like to talk about uh, use mouse model uh, for human disease. Um, why we use mouse uh, to model the human disease? Uh, first, 99% of the human uh, genes are conserved in the mouse. And the mouse has a uh, similar uh, physical, especially brain structures as a human. Um, therefore, um, what do we find in the mouse? probably represent what happened in the human, and then what we find in the treatment in the mouse might be translated uh, into the human um, trial. And these characters make the mouse models um, as a relevant platform for varieties of human disease studies and human health. And they, we do have a successful example uh, for the mouse models um, and for the human um, you know, uh, trial. Uh, how are we going to uh, uh, model the packing disease? Um, so um, my focus is going to be uh, on LAC2. As uh, Jeremy has a really nice introduction about the basic biology of LAC2. Um, so what we do is like we give the mouse um, um, a PD gene here. We use the mutant LAC2. It means this um, is from human patient's mutation. Um, and this will cause human um, to have the PD uh, phenotype, the symptoms. Um, with these models, uh, we would like to test for the PD symptoms in these animals' uh, models. So extensive um, by technology, we have created a large model that has the PD symptoms. Our ongoing project is going to be um, uh, focus on identify the cause of lung two toxicity, um, which you know we refer as PD symptoms. And then the second and the important step is we look for those drugs which can slow down or either stop the PD in mass and then translate for humans. So how are we going to do it? So uh, we have like um, the okay. We have the mass um, model which carries the mutant like the genes. Um, and then this model shows the phenotype. We would like to um, ask what happens in between. If we find out what happens in between and, and this step between, and then we can find ways to slow down or to stop the progressing of PD symptoms. Um, and then we can try some you know, compounds what if this drug is just you know working in the animal and can um, work in the animal? Then we can translate it into the human clinical trial. This is uh, what, um, what what what's my project going on in the lab. So uh, finally, I would like to thank you know Dr. Bill Lanston and the people from my lab and the uh, lots of collaborators, including Bill Gate, who is going to be uh, next scientist you know introduce her work, and then Jeremy. Uh, who did the first presentation. And all this work is going to be uh, supported by the Brain Foundation. 
Thank you. I would like to answer questions.